See, I just uh, arrived in the robo taxi, the cyber cab, and uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling, they're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. Tesla cyber cab. Elon Musk's ambitious vision for a fully autonomous robo-taxi has finally taken shape. Is it really the game changer it promises to be? From its stunning design to its potential to revolutionize urban transportation, the cyber cab is generating a buzz like never before. But with great innovation comes great risk. In this video, we'll explore why Musk's robo-taxi could be a risky bet for Tesla and what it means for the future of self-driving technology. Are we on the brink of a transportation revolution or is this a gamble that could backfire? Let's find out. It's a robo-taxi, a fully autonomous car with no steering wheel or pedals. That's right, you just hop in and let the car take control. The design is super futuristic, with doors that open like butterfly wings, and the inside is cozy, built for just two passengers. And here's the cool part, there's no need to plug it in. It charges wirelessly through the ground using inductive charging. But, of course, it still needs approval from regulators before hitting the street. Exciting times ahead. In this video, we'll dive into Elon Musk's exciting vision for the future of transportation. He believes that self-driving cars could be up to 10 to 20 times safer than cars driven by humans. Not only that, but these autonomous cars could be a game changer when it comes to cost. Imagine riding in a self-driving car for as little as 20 cents per mile that's way cheaper than the $1 per mile you'd pay for a city bus ride today. This could completely transform the way we travel. Stay tuned for more on how this futuristic tech might soon be part of our daily life. Tesla is gearing up to introduce fully autonomous driving in Texas and California by next year. They also aim to have their cyber cab ready for production by 2026, although it might be delayed until 2027. In addition, Tesla is working on a humanoid robot called Optimus, which could be priced between $20,000 and $30,000 and would be able to perform a variety of tasks. This is huge, Elon Musk said. It will save lives, a lot of lives, and prevent injury. At Tesla's Wii robot event, Musk showed off a prototype of the RoboTaxi at the Warner Brothers Studio lot in Burbank, California. The demonstration took place on private roads that Tesla had reportedly mapped out beforehand. Even though the company claims its full self-driving FSD system doesn't depend on high-definition maps to operate. Elon Musk is trying to shift Tesla's focus from just making and selling electric vehicles, EVs, to creating robots and artificial intelligence, AI. Tesla's market value is now higher than the combined worth of nearly all other car manufacturers around the world. A big part of Tesla's stock price comes from Musk's long-standing promise to develop an amazing self-driving car that can navigate anywhere on its own. Whether Tesla's robo-taxi will accomplish that steep task is anyone's guess. Musk has a reputation for defying the odds, but AV experts have routinely questioned Tesla's approach to the technology, especially with regard to the company's aggressive push for level two advanced driver assist systems like autopilot and full self-driving supervised. These features, while impressive, aren't fully self-driving and require the driver to stay alert at all times. Unfortunately, they can sometimes make serious mistakes. For example, earlier this year, a 28-year-old motorcyclist lost their life in an accident involving a Tesla driver who was reportedly using the full self-driving FSD feature. Because of increasing government scrutiny over its claims about autonomy, Tesla has had to recall both of its driver assist systems. Elon Musk is known for surprising everyone by achieving what seems impossible. Just look at how he turned things around with the Model 3 and the initial buzz around the Cybertruck. During a recent event, Musk shared his vision of self-driving cars as a way to save time. He said, think about all the hours people spend in their cars. With autonomous vehicles, they'll get that time back to read a book, watch a movie, work, 
or enjoy whatever they love. It's an exciting thought, isn't it? Tesla is still playing catch up with companies like Waymo and Cruise, which have already tested their driverless cars on the road for millions of miles. However, the launch of Robotaxis hasn't been smooth. There have been many hiccups, like vehicles getting stuck, causing traffic jams, and even some injuries. Now, federal safety regulators are investigating several key players to determine if the technology behind these vehicles is safe or if it needs to be recalled. Families of Tesla drivers who tragically lost their lives in crashes while using autopilot are taking legal action against the company for wrongful death. Meanwhile, Elon Musk's leadership at X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, has pushed away many of Tesla's more progressive customers. These users have been dismayed to see Musk promote right-wing conspiracy theories on the site, which has added to their concerns about the brand. Why Elon Musk's robo-taxi is such a risky bet for Tesla. Musk believes that the future of Tesla isn't about cars as we know them. Forget the four wheels and steering wheel. He's focused on autonomy. For him, the key to this future is the robo-taxi, or as Tesla calls it, the cyber cab. This venture aims to shake up not just the auto industry, but ride sharing as well. However, there are some major hurdles to overcome first. High expectation. Then came the moment of truth. Elon Musk unveiled the robo taxi. This was no small thing. It felt like a make or break moment for Tesla. Just before the announcement on October 10th, Tesla's market value surpassed that of giants like Toyota and General Motors, even though they sold fewer cars. Their shares were trading at over 80 times forward earnings. To put that in perspective, a leading AI company like Nvidia trades around 36 times earnings, while GM sits in the mid single digits. The stakes couldn't be higher. In the lead up to the announcement, investors were all in on Tesla stock. After a rough start to the year, with shares down more than 40% by April, the company had staged a remarkable comeback. The promise of self-driving cars has been in the air for a long time. With just a flick of a switch, speed control and navigation could become automated. Tesla's autopilot. When I think of a self-driving car, I imagine one where you can relax, maybe even take a nap, while it drives you to your destination without you needing to intervene. That's exactly what Musk envisions for this new vehicle. And we're not starting from scratch. Tesla already has one of the best driver assistance systems out there. They sell a software called Autopilot that released Tesla Robo Taxi app to pay for their ride. How the money gets split will likely involve both the car owner and Tesla. Too good to be true, but wait, doesn't this sound too good to be true? Who's going to maintain these cars? They'll need to be cleaned, serviced, and charged. To operate at the scale Musk envisions, significant infrastructure will be needed. This is a huge challenge that regulators haven't even begun to tackle. In the end, while the idea of robotaxis is exciting, the road to realizing this vision is filled with obstacles that need careful consideration and solution. One big difference between Tesla and other automakers like Waymo is their use of technology. Waymo utilizes LIDAR, which is a complex sensor system that helps the car understand its environment in detail. In contrast, Tesla relies solely on cameras and software, arguing that just like humans rely on their eyes to navigate the world, their cars can too. While some critics call this approach stupid because LiDAR can be costly and complex, Tesla insists that it's a practical choice for a consumer-focused product. After all, adding LiDAR to every Tesla would significantly raise the price, potentially driving customers away. Tesla believes that the real-world data they gather from their cars on the road is more valuable than the data collected by Waymo. However, there's a catch. Most of Tesla's testing focuses on highways, and they haven't been transparent about just how much data they have. This leaves us all wondering about the overall effectiveness of their technology. When it comes to safety, there's no denying that both human and autonomous drivers can make mistakes. With about 40,000 fatalities each year in the US, due to issues like speeding and distracted driving, the question arises, are we ready to accept the possibility of accidents caused by self-driving cars? Imagine the ethical debates that could emerge if an autonomous vehicle caused harm, especially to vulnerable individuals like children. One challenge Tesla faces is that many drivers become overly reliant 
on the car's technology, leading to a false sense of security. This has resulted in numerous accidents and even lawsuits. It's not just about safety, it's also about maintaining smooth traffic flow, which has been problematic for companies like GM's Cruise and Waymo. So, when can we expect a true robo-taxi revolution? Some experts are optimistic, projecting that significant advancements might be seen by 2026. However, the path to achieving this is complicated. Recent discussions around the cyber cab, Tesla's vision for autonomous ride sharing have raised questions about its business model and the lack of affordable vehicle options. Remember, the much anticipated $25,000 Tesla that Elon Musk promised back in 2020? That idea has been shelved in favor of pursuing the robo-taxi concept. Elon Musk is a polarizing figure. Some adore him for his groundbreaking ideas, while others are more skeptical. Love him or hate him, he's undeniably influential. Musk is taking a big gamble with autonomous driving technology. And while it's a risky move, the potential rewards could change the way we think about transportation forever. In Silicon Valley, there's a saying, don't bet against Elon. And as we move forward, it'll be intriguing to see how this gamble unfolds.